Working out the ways that you'll always be right. Welcome to London. Now, this is a place where almost one year ago to the day. Bless you. Sorry. Bless you. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay, so this is you're a, on a roll. Keep I going. Know. Okay, so this is a place almost one year ago to the day where we were offered a position to actually come and move here full time. Now this would have meant no longer traveling. This would have meant no longer going about and seeing what we want to see and having an untethered life. And you would have had to go back into an office and, and I would shave have and well, cut your hair and it wear suits. Would have suits. been a whole lot different. But essentially, we said no because we wanted to go ahead and live our life authentically with our kids, and explore the world, and show it to you guys. Now. What does that mean? That means that we don't know what we missed out on. Now, we've been to London before, we've seen things, but we have not seen the alternative sides of London, which I think we would have been really into, and this is what we're doing right now. So you think if we would have, if we would have seen the alternative sides, you might want to go back into an office? I think we would have rethought whether we wanted to be in the city or not. All right, let's explore the alternative side today and then make a decision at the end of the day. We can always move here. Yeah, but can I still see Buckingham Palace? I haven't seen it. <laughs> I haven't seen it in 26 years. <laughs> If we fell apart, would you want me to stay? So today we are at Camden Market, a whole other side of London. Ooh, that music's loud. Today we are at Camden Market, a whole other side of London. Less banker and high tea and more alternative and funky and tattoos and yummy food and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty excited to be here and check out another side of London. I was here 26 years ago. I spent a lot of time here in my younger years, so it has a special place in my heart. I'm in the market for some new glasses for Camino. Do these say I'm on a spiritual enlightenment journey? It says you're on a spiritual enlightenment journey, but look out because I got my sharpshooting gun with you and I'm gonna shoot you if you don't All right, like what... Can you tell where I just come from? <laughs> <laughs> The real fruit, right? These are really cool. What is it? What is this right here? I'm gonna get one pair. I like the. Did you see the kiwi though? Look how cool the kiwi is. This is hard to buy one pair, but I have. I can only buy one pair because we live in a camping car. So. <laughs> so. So how does he make these? Yeah. How do you make this? So it's um. Dry. It's a process of drying. So he developed a way to dry them whilst retaining the color and then everything's coated in a type of liquid resin uh, and seal and protect it. I wonder how much he eats while he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never asked. Can you ask him that for me? <laughs> well, what are you okay. going to get? I'm trying to decide between lemons and limes. Well, can you help me out a little bit? No, you need to you figure know this out for yourself. I I'm not going to wear this stuff. You might wear it one day. You don't I don't know. think so. You don't know how life's going to... Okay. <laughs> What do you like? If, let's just say you had to wear them, Will. Would you wear the kiwi or would you wear, what is this, the blood orange? Oh, oh my gosh, hi! Oh, now we're totally distracted. We're never getting out of here. Don't go in there, that looks scary. What is that? Diver's dog. I don't want to go in there. It looks like a club at 11 in the morning. <laughs> Don't stop, turn off the lights. Nauseous, when I wake up. Don't quit, I fell for you. Don't break, break it in two. I think we're looking at getting some decorations for the RV, guys. Listen, we vowed that we were not physically abuse the RV in any way, shape, or form. So if they go in, it has to be like magnets or something like that. I found the perfect one for us. Shut the front door. That is the one we need. How about drive more often? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Oh my God. We decided to take our next stop on a bus, on a bus, on a water bus. So that's taking us from here in Camden Market all the way to Little Venice. This is Little been, Venice? We're going to Little Venice. We're going, Venice isn't here, we're not in Italy. I know, Largo, but we're going to a place called Little Venice. It's here in London. They which stole is, the name from Italy. Which is Paddington. Which Paddington is by Paddington. Station. I know. Can I get you 
sold on the boat and it is card payments only. Okay. Cash is so yesterday. Everyone's going to clap when she came on because they knew she was in the bathroom. You know they rehearsed for the movie Titanic on here? This is not as big as the Titanic. The Regents Canal is part of a network of waterways which provide transport between many industrial cities and towns in Britain. fit our whole family. Oh my god. It's got a garden small. on the top. We'd have to paint it pink though. I would like to sit on the outside for my classes. Oh that one's got a grill. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. Look at that. And they're having lunch. I think we can live there right Largo? I can live there. Are you going to come back and visit us from college? Mm. Only if I have enough time. Oh I'm sorry. You might be too busy? Yeah. <laughs> this is really cute Jess. No, I don't need any more ideas in my head of cool things I want to do with my life. But think about it, this, these little long boats, narrow boats, they give you a lot more room than the RV does. <laughs> so we'd be upgrading. We'd be upgrading, but we'd, we'd be upgrading. a lot slower. But we'd, we'd live on the water and have more space. Those are two things we really like. So many river boats that live on this little passageway that I think people actually commute in to work from here. That may be an actual option if we do wind up coming back here. Um, so how much does it cost to, to dock here? What happens is, is if you buy a boat, you either get a permanent mooring, which oh. is what your rent is. You okay. pay somebody that owns the mooring. Or, or, so somebody owns the land and you pay them a certain amount. So you have to buy it and you have to pay and the, have the to rent pay is the, the thousand. Exactly. Okay. Some okay. you can buy with a permanent mooring. Okay. Um, if you don't do that, you have to move around. So you have to move every day, every week. And then, the, and then at the end of the year, they see how many miles that you've done. And if you've done less than the amount that's required, you lose your license and your house. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of rules. Yeah. Is it cool to live on one? Do your friends like it? I I personally wouldn't recommend living on a boat. It's cramped, it's small. Oh my gosh, you don't know us. The, uh, we live in a camping car just under seven years. Oh really? Meters, okay, okay. And we've been in it for 10 months. Well, well if you have it, that, that's the thing, they move there from, really a, from, a, from a house. I have a weird question. Yeah, sure. What about the poop? Oh, so uh, there's, a, the spot, there's, there's, a, there's a community toilet just there and you dump it down there. Oh, okay, so like what we do in the camping car. Oh, we'd be so good at this. Yeah, you you still wouldn't do it though. I still wouldn't do it. That's no. the kids' chores. Find the gap! Find the gap! So our final stop in this entire journey, this Here. entire destination of ours today has been leading us to this place. We're this picking was up, the first stop too. This is the very first stop. We're picking up the cameras again. Imagine that the week is almost over. We're picking up your camera, my camera, right over here. And we've shot with this for too long I think now. we survived. I, I hope we survived. survived. I don't know. I still have to is, edit this stuff. This is a happy moment. I'm very happy to get know, them back. You said they're going to look like brand new. I'm very excited. There's a paper for pickup. Yeah, you didn't take it out of the bag, did you? What bag? The one on your back. <laughs> you sure we brought it? Oh, I didn't take it out. Where's the camera, Jess? Not with me. Do you guys want to know the story? We went to pick it up, and apparently they had sent us an estimate that had some extra prices on it because the lens needed special cleaning from the Moroccan sand, the, the desert sand. And they sent it to Jessica at World, <laughs> World Training. And we've all had a really good laugh because I think it's kind of funny, you know, I know we train people in World Towning, but this is not really like a physical trainer body and I don't know, maybe they looked at me, you know what, well, I think they looked at me and said, we can't figure out this second word because she has messy handwriting, but she's so super physically fit, I think it's World Training. She's buff. She is buff. Look at that, look at those guns. Actually, we have, we've I had. Do have a four pack. Maybe they. Oh, you weren't with me though. I, I honestly had a really good laugh when they put world training. Cause you know that's what we do. But I definitely don't look like that. They're gonna come through. They said. They said 30 minutes. They're gonna clean them all. Clean both of the cameras, both the bodies, both the lens. 
I think it's because they saw honestly because they because since I didn't respond to their email because I never got their email uh, they didn't clean the camera so we came to pick them up and we leave in 12 hours on a flight back to France and they weren't done so they're gonna do they're gonna clean them in 30 minutes two bodies two cameras and they said they're gonna look brand new we won't recognize them so I'm very excited that they're gonna come through I think the fact that I looked at him when he said that and I almost like my face became completely white and almost started crying because we need to get these clean before we get on the Camino. But they're going to come through. Cool. Excellent. With camera in hand now, we're finally gone. Uh, Jess, Hi. time to start your workout routine. Just <laughs> <laughs> got world training. Wait, we're I'm so glad we named the company World Town. World I'm, training is so boring. You know what? I think at the end of the day, if World Town doesn't work out, we have a future with World Training. World Training? Yeah, we already have the look. <laughs> And now that you got this long hair, you're looking at it. I know. We did not move to London and we did not. Surprise! Do it. We didn't do it! <laughs> We did it for a reason, and honestly, I don't think we made the wrong choice. We tried to get ourselves into a framework of saying, what would happen if we actually moved here? I love the city. It has an energy, it has theater, it has great food, it has all kinds of interesting stuff, but dot, dot, dot. The me of a year ago versus the me of now, it's two totally different people. I would want Will to have to go back into an office. And you'd have to cut your hair and you'd have to shave. I mean, this is, this is like over a year's worth of growth. If I were to go ahead and come back to work and come back into a corporate structure, I would actually be like working right here, right around these buildings. Homeschooling might be kind of fun here because all the museums are free and there just seems to be a lot of diversity and different things going on. So I think from that perspective, it'd be really cool. I don't want to be that guy anymore who goes out and just and just gets up in the morning and dresses in a suit and goes and kisses his kids goodbye for me I mean I could have lived here I've lived here before but I think my mind is in such a different place now I mean, will and I have lived in big cities and I feel like that is a thing of our past and we're just on a different path now this is our London experience this is why we did not move to London this is why we're reaffirmed as to why we're doing what we do. The things we have in store for you guys and for ourselves and for our family is, is something magical. We're gonna do things that we can only dream of doing when we retire, but we're doing it now. Give us your thoughts in the comments. Have, are you a corporate person? Have you left the corporate world? Do you aspire to be in the corporate world? Like, What are your thoughts on this? Because I think it's a really interesting topic. Um, you never thought you'd leave the corporate world. So I, I, think... I never thought I'd be world towning. I never knew what world towning was <laughs> until we started this. You mean world training. Exactly. <laughs> get get bummed. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Like this is my sister from another mother. I can... I'm sorry. We're 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 hair models. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we don't go we don't go in public that often together. So, you know, because it draws attention. So. <laughs> I know. I know. It was nice chatting with you.